Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. <clears throat> so, friends, we have been discussing about ethics, integrity and aptitude paper. Paper 4 in general studies for the mains civil service examination. That is an important topic. The contribution of contribution from the Indian and uh, philosophers from India and the world. Everywhere. Regarding that topic, we are trying to understand the concepts of ethics through Tirukkural because Tirukkural is one of the important inevitable treatises and as part of it, we are trying to understand probity in governance through Tirukkural. What does Tirukkural talk about probity in governance? Meaning, what is ethical governance? What is ethical governance? Other than probity in governance. Probity in governance is ethics in the governance. Archi Murayil Aram. Other pati Tirukkural enna solladu. As part of it, we have been discussing about the chapter, right chapter given in Tirukkural. Adala, let us now discuss the couplet number 548, yet another important uh, Tirukkural couplet. And let us try to understand the meaning of this couplet as well as how is it relevant to civil services as such. Yen padatthaan ora murai seyya mannavan, tan padatthaan thanei kedum. Yen padatthaan ora murai seyya mannavan. Murai Seya Mannavan. Tan Padatan Tane Kedum. What's the meaning? The king who gives not facile audience to those who approach him and who does not examine and pass judgment on their complaints will perish in disgrace. Check. What does it mean? <clears throat> See, if you recall, I don't have to justify how this Tirukural is relevant to civil services of today. The meaning itself is self-explanatory. Very, very simple. In today's context, we are a state-dependent society. Nobody can deny this. That we are a state-dependent society. How are we dependent on the state? I had always, I had already told you in some other video previously. We are so dependent on the state that we have to rely on the state to prove that we are B. I am I. I am Ganesh. How do I prove that I am Ganesh? You simply ask me. Show me your ID card. And what is the ID card? It should be the government. It could be postal ID card. It should be Aadhaar card. It can be PAN card. It can be my driving license. It can be my passport. <coughs> so, okay. You, 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 want, you want some money? You have some money? Where will you go deposit? You buy a property. How do you know that the property belongs to you? So we are completely a state dependent society, which means we go to the state for even the smallest of the small things, most fundamental of the life, most fundamental of life. How do I prove my identity? That's fundamental. So we are a state dependent society. So if that be the case, when somebody approaches the person who is a representative of the state, you know, Someone approaches you, you are a, an IAS officer and you are a district collector or you are a secretary to some department or if you are an IRS officer who is a GST officer, <coughs> a citizen may approach a district collector, a tax assessee may approach a GST officer. He goes to you with an idea that when he has a hearing. When you give him a hearing, when you listen to him, his problems, you will be able to apply your mind, solve his problems, enable his life, enable his smooth life, welfare, or enable the harmonious and smooth running of his business, whatever as the case may be. So, when somebody approaches you, you have to give him a facile audience. You have to hear him. You have to hear his case with utmost compassion. You should try to empathize with him. If he is on the faulty side, apply your mind, analyze, make him educate him and make him understand that he is fault on his, the fault is on his side and this is what his problem is and this is where the problem is cropped up. Try to help solve the issue instead of throwing him in the lurch, instead of showing him authority. 
instead of showing him that you are somebody who is more important than him. Right? End of the day, when you are not, when people are not there, your authorities are not there. Remember the term Janapada. See, without people, a territory does not become Janapada. A territory inhabited by people. Right? So people are more important. People are central to Janapada. So give him a facile audience who when he approaches you, listen to him with utmost compassion. When you do not do that, when the government does not do that, Tirukkural says when the ruler doesn't do that, he will perish, right? he will perish in disgrace. Tanpatattan thane kedu. In Tirukkural, in order to say Idipara illa emara mannan kedupar ilan ilum kedum. Adhe or ruler or king yepo lang kedupo wa. When all a ruler can perish. Different circumstances. Adhe or circumstances are when you don't have people who can come to stop you. Who can rise up and stop you from doing wrongs. You will perish. The king will perish. Even if there is no, if there is no enemies who can attempt, who can aggress upon him and you know, uh, destroy him. When it comes to your citizens, when it comes to your own people, your subjects, if you are not giving him a fair audience, if you are not dealing with their issues compassionately, if you are not dealing with their issues with utmost empathy and resolve them, deliver justice, you will perish in disgrace. This applies to civil servants as well. Right? This will apply to civil servants as well. Because again collective responsibility. Every GST officer is responsible for the GST department working. Every income tax officer is responsible for the income tax department working. Every officer, every employee in the collectorate is important for the deliverance of welfare. Otherwise the district collector loses its relevance. The office loses its relevance. Right? If there is no, you see, the way you function now next we will be studying about the cruel scepter. What happens? Right scepter la inna ahum soldar. So if you see the right scepter, he has been talking about why right scepter is important. And fairly when you are ending, when we are nearing the end of this chapter, he starts giving us an indication. He starts indicating what happens if there is no right scepter. The opposite right, if there is no right scepter, it's very important, it can end up into cruel scepter. When it is cruel scepter, what will happen next chapter? Again, indication so That's why this Thirukural is very relevant to civil services as well. And let us try to understand what is there in the right scepter and providing governance in the next Thirukural. Thank you very much.